Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna talk about how do you go about sending an invitation with Microsoft Graph using Logic Apps. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. So here I am on portal.azure.com. I just created an app registration naming um, named Send Invitation. So this is the brand new app registration that I've just created. There are no permission whatsoever. So I'll go ahead and add the permissions which I needed to run this create invitation. So if I look at the documentation, it says I'll need directly dot read all and user dot read write all application permission. So the reason why I'm taking application permission because we're gonna use Logic App, which is gonna run without an user intervention. So application permission is necessary for that. So I've typed in directly dot read write all. I'll click on add permission, and then the other permission that we have is user dot read write all. Click on add permission again. Microsoft Graph application permission. I'll paste in the chat. Based on the uh, text box in here, I'll add the permission. So there you go. This needs admin consent. So I'll give, go ahead and grant the admin consent in there. All right, this looks good. I'll take out the notepad um, to take a note of all the things in here. So I'll go ahead and create a brand new secret. So let's take it as sample secret. Um, I'm going to keep it for three months. Click on next, copy the value that we have, and Pasting the value for future references. All right, so we are here right now. So this is done. This is secret. I'll need client ID. I'll go to the overview section. I'll copy the client ID. There it is. And now we are good to go and create our logic app. So I'll keep this open. I'll open the logic app in the new tab. So first thing first, we'll have to provision the new logic app. So I'll just open these Azure portal and we would click on logic apps. There you go. Click on add. So this is going to be a basic logic app without any fancy stuffs in there. So this would be shared public cloud as what I need consumption plan paper operation. I'll click on next. Here as you go, create a new resource group. Graph logic app is what I'm going to name it. Graph logic app. Logic app name is graph invitation. This is again as per your needs. I'm just giving a simple name. I'll keep it East US for now. Um, I'm not gonna enable log analytics. I'll click on create new. And this should give us the logic app that we would need. All right, I'll click on create. So there we have it. The deployment is in progress. And I'll cut down this video. OK, so we are here. I'll go to the resource. There we have it, our logic app. Um, we are inside the overview section right now. And it's still load loaded. Right, so the trigger that we're going to use is the HTTP trigger. HTTP trigger. And click on add trigger so we're going to use http trigger um, to run this app um, yeah there you go so i'll click on http search for it in app i'll use the post request from from the documentation this is going to be post body so body i'm going to copy from here all right and this is all we need so i pasted my email address so we'll get an email on this email address okay so in advanced parameter i'm going to select authentication the authentication is going to be an active directory OAuth authentication okay so this is what we're going to use to get the token so audience going to be um https graph dot microsoft dot com mm -hmm. um tenant we have to copy it from here so there it is the tenant id I have pasted in there. The audience has to be graph.microsoft.com. That's my bad. Client ID. Client ID we copied in here. So let me paste that. And secret. Secret would be the one that we created for our app. So I pasted the secret here as well. I don't think we'll need an authority over here. So I'll go ahead and click on save for now let's see if we can run this
Okay, it is showing bad request. The user cannot be invited because the domain email address is verified domain of this directory. Okay, so the reason why the email was not sent because this email address belonged to the same tenant. So I'll use another email address logic app invitation. Okay, and here I need to have a different email address. I'll put in my Gmail address. All right, so I think we are good to run this app now. Let's successfully check the trigger. And there you go. Our logic app has successfully sent successfully sent the invitation. And so guys, as you see, we were able to successfully send an invitation to the email address, um, which is the email address outside the tenant. And we have got the desired 201 code and we have got the desired body so you can use this um, logic app and graph api combination to do some kind of automation you can have this http trigger somewhere to have those invites and then again you can run the ba bad jobs to have multiple invitations in one go all right so that's all from this video do let me know if there are any questions comments and until then see you next time bye bye